Hey there, YouTube. It's Justin the Snap-On Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? So today, uh, this video is going to be about we are going to change the oil and uh, the fuel filter on my truck and we're going to be putting in uh, some new oil and stuff like that and I'm going to kind of show you how to do it uh, my way. Uh, I got my fuel filter and I bought a K&N air filter. Um, I like these because they have the wrench on the back but what I do want to get is where you can put the cat filter adapter on this truck and uh, once they get them to where they're approved we'll be changing this out for the cat filters but the fuel filters I think have to stay the same and let me tell you fucking GM if you guys are out here watching this your parts department your fucking service department I've been to three dealerships okay and two out of the three have completely sucked motherfucking balls okay your service departments are terrible their customer service is terrible their parts department is fucking terrible what the fuck I called a dealership and asked them if they could look up this part number and give it to me okay and the guy said we do not give part numbers out on the over the telephone and I said well you will not I will never be buying parts from you ever again what the fuck do you mean you can't deliver you can't give a customer fucking part numbers so they could fix their truck I see why nobody wants to go to your goddamn dealerships and all this bullshit it's fucking bullshit man guys spending out there these trucks are fucking 70 grand okay people out there that spend 70 grand there's a lot of guys that like to do shit themselves because they don't want to deal <clears throat> with your bullshit lube techs that you got at these dealerships these kids right out of college that don't know a fucking goddamn thing and they're gonna fuck their goddamn truck up that a you're not gonna fucking be able to fix because nobody can fix fucking anything but anyway that's my fucking rant I'm so over uh, dealing with dealerships I, I can't fucking handle it anymore so sorry about that rant but I just wanted to let it know out there that their fucking service department suck balls and if any of you guys work in service department or work at a Chevrolet dealership, comments in the comments section if your dealership is all right. Because I found one out of the seven in Cincinnati that wanted to be a fucking real dealership. But anyway, so uh, let's get ready. Uh, we'll change the oil in this shit. Um, it looks pretty simple, just like a regular oil change, but we'll get right into this here. Uh, and all that bullshit. Guys, I had a guy ask me uh, what type of gloves I like. Uh, <clears throat> I don't like those uh, natural gloves. I got these at Sam's. They're this Grease Monkey brand. I don't know if you can see that, but I really enjoy these. They got like a little bit of grip on them and all that shit. Uh, they're actually quite nice. So, <clears throat> whoo, we got our gloves on. All right, now, the oil drain pan is uh, right here, uh, from what I can tell. Uh, this is your transmission filter and your transmission pan. And in a little bit, the, maybe the next video, we will change the transmission fluid. But anyway, uh, this is a 15 millimeter wrench here. So we're going to go ahead and get that on. Fucking thing wasn't very tight. What the fuck? Yeah, see, fucking probably some goober put this together. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, I like these zero offset wrenches. It's a little long. There's a lot of shit in the fucking way down here. Oh, boy. So, let's go ahead and pull this out. And we're making a fucking complete mess. Alright. <clears throat> so, uh, like anything else, uh, we'll let this drain. Uh, there's the drain plug, no metal on it. It's a little charcoal-y. Uh, the thing has 4,000 miles on it, 4,300 miles right now. And I know you're not supposed to do it till 7,500, but um, I've been reading that they recommend that you change it at, you know, a little bit before that. 
but what I'm trying to do is uh, I want to put a different oil in there uh, and we'll talk about that when we go to put it in there but so the first thing when you do any oil changes is is you let the oil drain out and I'm gonna let this drain out for a couple minutes uh, because I like to uh, you know let all this nasty shit get out of there it's just my preference but you know what do I know I'm just fucking uh, a professional hack out here you know living the dream alrighty I see uh, another flaw in this fucking system here uh, okay GM engineers okay why in the fuck would you put a goddamn cross member right underneath the fucking oil pan so the oil drains into the fucking cross member? Whose fucking idea was that? Does anybody in these engineering offices fucking talk to anybody? I mean, come the fuck on. Fuck. You know, now you gotta fucking break clean all this shit out, or I bet you that somebody sells something that goes in there that blocks it, that doesn't go in there, you know, so it doesn't run in the cross member that I don't fucking have. Or maybe GM engineers are wanting to use this as rust prohibitor. I don't fucking know. But again, uh, I wish these people would actually work on the shit that designed this stuff. I mean, anybody could fucking point and click on a, a fucking computer and all that bullshit. But still, what the fuck is this? Let me know if you guys, if there's other cars out there that have this same problem. So what I did is I put a rag there. Uh, we're just gonna let this drain out for a couple more minutes till it stops pouring all the black shit out. So when we, we have as much clean oil in the truck as we can get. Now this is just the way that I do oil changes. I'm sure that there'll be some flat rate guys out there that say, I let it drain too long, but uh, again, this is my truck, uh, I do what I want. So um, I got the oil plug cleaned up here. As you can see this, it's got a cool little O-ring on there, uh, but it is a non-magnetic plug, which I don't know why uh, they wouldn't come up with a magnetic plug, but you know, why they wouldn't put one of those in there, but I mean, fuck, maybe it's not in the budget, but anyway, uh, we'll just let this drain for a while and then we'll come back to it and I'll show you where the oil filter is. So I think we let this drain out long enough. We'll put the plug back in. Then we have to douche this off with a bunch of brake clean. Sorry guys, it's tight underneath this motherfucker, you know. Okay, so we got that done there. All right, now let's get our brake clean. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Nothing 3M brake clean won't fix. So we'll fucking douche that off. Alrighty. Alrighty, so the, air, the oil filter is up in this fucking location. And here's something. Drain plug loose. Oil filter tighter than fucking anything. I mean, that thing had to be torqued to fucking 150 foot pounds. I don't fucking get it. So let's move this out of here. Oh, yeah. And we're just gonna pour this all over fucking every goddamn thing as you can see here. What the fuck? All right, so apparently on this job, what you need 
is a shit ton of fucking uh, rags, brake clean, sprayer, fucking every other goddamn thing. Um, for you, for you guys that want to know, let's see if there's a part number on here. Yeah. So that's the AC Delco part number. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty dark under here, but uh, that's that. So we'll let this drain out some more here. Fuck. Get that all cleaned up. You know, up in there. You can see where it's just pouring out of it. Uh, that's on a weird angle, but the fucking pan is not. So, you know, we're learning all kinds of shit here today, guys. So, all right, let me go get the other filter and uh, get this cleaned up a little bit here. All right, guys, I got the new K&N filter on there, and the part number that fits this truck is HP3 zero zero three so we'll just screw this fucker on there one thing that I do not like about this that I can already tell you is, is I like to pre-fill my filters and with this not having uh, you know with this not having uh, that shit on it I don't really like that so you know, we're not going to make this as tight as uh, they had it from the factory there. Well, this thing's supposed to fit on there, and it fucking don't. Jesus, God. All right. So, again, you know, we got to wipe down everything because you don't want this shit just spraying all over the place. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Well, we got that in there. Let's just check this one more time for good fucking luck. Okay, I feel like that's tight enough. Now, what we'll do is we'll move on back here to the fuel filter and I'll show you exactly where that is. We'll get that changed, and then we'll go put oil in the truck. Okay, guys, your fuel filter is right here. It's kind of like right underneath the passenger seat. So I think what we can do is we can turn this right here, okay? And this is just a 19 millimeter socket. And we can drain the fuel out, I do believe. So we break the vacuum, okay? So we got that out. Now what we need to do, now what we need to do is see if we can get this off here. I don't have the right socket for this, motherfucker. Oh. Well, I thought that would work. I thought that would work to take it off there. I mean, this is the only way that I see to get it to come off. I'm sure they make a special tool. Matter of fact, I know they do. I just ain't got it. So, we're getting it here. Oh, motherfucker. This fucking cooler's in the way, too. You know, they gotta put all this shit on there. And I don't have the right socket to go around that. And when I tried, it just, it just fucking collapsed. I mean, I didn't think it needed to be this tight. What do you think? But I have a feeling what the problem is, is there's an O-ring in here. And that's what fucking crushing against. Uh, let 
me get you guys out of here and I'll show you it apart. Alrighty, we got the fuel filter out and uh, for this truck having 4,000 miles on it, um, the fuel filter does not look that dirty. Uh, we'll compare it to the new one here once I pull out of here. I will tell you that this fucking pump su or this fucking thing sucks to get out of here. I wonder if this o-ring swells up a little bit and creates a tight seal when the diesel fuel hits it. That's the only thing that I could think of. And just to let you guys out there know that if you're doing this on your truck, this is going to be tighter than fuck. So let's get the old filter out and get the new filter in and then we'll put the uh, water separator drain back in it and then we'll be ready, you know, we'll get this project finished. Alrighty guys, uh, so what you got to do first is we're going to pull this o-ring off here and they give you a nice brand new one and there's also a little one and I'll show you where that goes uh, next. So let's pull this filter out, I bet it's fucking o-ringed in, mother, motherfucker. Okay, so this is the old filter here. Uh, that's the part number, if you can see that. GM23304 095. Alright, so we'll put we'll put the o-ring on first. Yeah, this is just like uh, I had our Mercedes-Benz engine in the Sterling, and they use these cartridge they use cartridge everything, fuel filter and uh, fucking oil filter, and they sucked. So we got that. That must be what this does is, is it swells up. But you can see, you know, that's, I mean, it's not too dirty. We haven't been running into a bunch of nasty fuel. So, you know, and it's not red. So wouldn't get arrested for that. So uh, that's how you switch the fuel filters out and then we'll go ahead and go put this back uh, in the truck here. We've got everything in there. You know, you just want to make sure you have these good, good clean fuel filters. Alrighty guys, so there's a little O-ring. Fuck. That's on uh, this plastic tube here. Let me see if I can get this off. You know, they gave it to me, so I'm going to replace every O-ring that I can. And then we'll put this... Oh, fuck. So that's that O-ring there. You know, they gave it to us, so fuck it. Let's replace it. If it's in the kit, then that means it's a one-time use item. And we're going to get ready and screw this thing back on. And motherfucker, it's going to be a bitch. So, uh, as you can see, i got to screw this back on. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, guys, got to move you. But you understand where the fuel filter is now, uh, right next to this cooler, right under the passenger seat what you got to do to all that so uh, let me get this tightened up you know fuck alright this is the oil that I'm using I love this Schaefer's product uh, they make about the best diesel oil I think you can buy uh, so what I'm using is Duravelli Advantage synthetic plus diesel engine oil 1540 and it's CK4 approved and uh, that's in our owner's manual, that's what it says. And I think this thing takes, it says 10 and a half quarts. So we're gonna put two gallons in it. Uh, that would be eight quarts. And uh, we're gonna see where that takes us. We're gonna check it real quick and uh, see where that takes us. So you just pour your oil in, you know. Ooh. Shit's like water. Now, a lot of you don't know this. Schaefer's oil is like a green looking product. Uh, you know, it's some good shit. Get ready to pour in the second gallon there. 
The only thing I didn't get is an air filter for this thing, and that's because uh, they didn't have any yet. Uh, well, the parts place that I went didn't have one, but I will be getting that in the next couple days. They said they'd be back in Tuesday, so I'll stop over there Tuesday before work and pick one up. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to check the dipstick just to see what we got here. Might take a little bit for this shit to run down there. Okay, uh, not none on the stick yet, so we have to put some more in it. I don't think this thing should take over fucking two and a half gallons, but it may take more. If it is, the internet fucking lied. Okay. And you also got to think we got to fill up that filter too. Okay, that's about full there. So it is two and a half gallons. The internet did not lie. So what we'll do is pull this out. And then we will go in and start the truck and let it run for a second. And make sure we got oil pressure. And then I'll show you how to reset the oil light and the fuel filter light. All right, I like to cycle it a little bit because I heard the fuel pump running. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if the oil pressure stabilizes a little bit because we got 60 pounds now. Oh, there we go. All right, we got a oil brusher. Now we're just gonna go make sure uh, we got no leaks or anything like that. And we should be good to go. Then I'll come in here and I'll show you how to reset these oil lights and the fuel filter lights. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's pull the dipstick out. And you can see that we got, uh, we're full on oil there. So we got that, got this part done. Uh, we started it up, like I said before, uh, it's not rattling or anything like that. So now let's shut the hood. All right. Now let's go in here and uh, show you guys how to reset these oil lights. All righty guys. So how to reset these oil lights here is apparently you go to info and then you go to uh i don't want that so let's go to uh fuel filter life and apparently you just hold down this button uh hold on here info Oh, that's not working. All right. Let's see if we can do the oil life. Info, click that. Hold down it. Oh, there's, there is oil life remaining. All right, let's go to info again and see if we can do uh, fuel, because we figured it out. Okay, so let's go to info again, click that, hold this down, and it will not let us do, it will not let us do the oil filter life, or the, it won't let us do the fuel filter life. What the fuck? All right. Well, let me see if there's uh, another trick on the internet, and I'll get back to you. So after, uh figuring out what I did wrong there. You got to have the truck. You can't have the truck running. It just has to be key on. Okay. Then you go over here to the info, you know, uh, the info section, you scroll down 
to then you can scroll through your things here and then all you have to do is hold down this check button and it'll beep and it reset it you can see that we went from 67 to 100 percent filter life because we just changed it and that's really all you need to know about uh, how to do this stuff pretty self-explanatory uh, you know I'm sure that I fucked this up but anyway uh, that's how you change oil and fuel filter on a 2017 GMC Chevrolet I'm sure it's all the same all right guys I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me uh, change the oil in this pickup truck hopefully it uh, helps you guys out out there uh, if you have these type of trucks or anything like that but you know like always fuck I hacked it together uh, like I said on MDV's live stream, I'm not a professional mechanic, I'm a professional hack or whatever. You know, I just said it as a joke. But anyway, uh, like that. Uh, one more thing. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys watch Mike's Tool Shed, uh, but I watch his channel and I've been trying to get him to show his face. So he said that he, if you guys go to his Instagram page, which is Mike's Tool Reviews on Instagram, uh, if he gets 500 followers, he's going to post a picture of his face. Now, I want to see his face. I'm sure a lot of other people do. Uh, and if you guys could just help me out, it's like a little challenge. I want to see if I can get him, you know, if we get close to 500 Instagram followers. If I can find the link to his thing, I'll put it in the description, but I'm not very good at that. So don't, just Mike's tool shed. Like always, uh, visit my Patreon account. Uh, you know, we got 10 new members on there, or a couple new members on there. Uh, in the next couple videos, I'll do the shout outs for the guys that donated over 10 bucks. And uh, let's see, what else do we got? Uh, visit, you know, the Snap on Junkie.com, or the Snap on Junkie on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, check out all my other social medias. Uh, like always, guys, thanks for watching, and I gotta fucking go.